race brakes, squeaky race brakes. What's up guys, Caleb with Black Pro Media. Thanks for checking in. I'm gonna be driving the Z today, first time in a little bit, but the weather's kind of nice, so we're gonna take her for a rip. All right, so we're gonna be talking about what 2020 has in store for this 350Z. So currently I have some ideas of what I want to happen, but I refuse to go into anything that's gonna put me in a financial position where I'm stressed. So I am kind of responsible in my modifications like that. Um, so number one is the suspension. I need to get brand new coilovers and I'm working on that right now. So I am running PBR or PBN, <laughs> PBR, I'm thinking about beer, uh, PBM Max Pro Sport coils. I've had them on for about 35,000 miles and they are shot. The rears are blown, and that happened after I started working in Hartford. Um, some of the roads out that way are really, really bad. I hit some pretty legendary potholes and blew those shocks. So they're okay to cruise around right now, but they're definitely not that comfortable. And I'm looking to either get them rebuilt, replaced, or um, I don't know, send them off to a shop to get customized or something like that. Not even really quite sure what all my options are, but there are a few people that I'm in touch with that are helping me figure that out. Um, now, as far as the rest of the car goes, the um, uh, maintenance wise, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, I may wanna do, I, I'm obviously gonna do routine maintenance at the beginning of this year. This is one of my um, more comfortable drives with the car this year in 2020 just because uh, it was a little spotty before I was forced to, to drive it. But ever since uh, the truck has been back on the road, um, I have been kind of holding off driving it until the roads are clear. Uh, we haven't had a snowstorm or anything crazy where they salted the roads in like a, over a week. So the roads are pretty clear. Uh, I'm gonna get a wash for this car probably today at some point. Um, I'm on my way to the gym now. Uh, but in 2020, I would also like to um, look into boosting this car finally. It's something that I've been wanting to do for the last couple of years, and I just had never found the time, never found uh, the finances to do it, and uh, I'm pretty close to it. But there are a couple of wild cards. Number one being that I am getting married this year, so I need to kind of see financially how I'm doing. So far, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, but as we know, once you start getting into that boost, um into the boost game you know you kind of need to go all in so you can't just buy one part and start you gotta kind of buy a few parts and make sure they fit up and once they all fit up then you got to be ready to tune the car or else you can't really drive it that much or effectively so there's a lot like once you start you have to be all in at least that's the way i look at it um there are so many different ways i can get this accomplished and a lot of different financial options for that so i could go cheap i could do ebay turbos i could do rear mount i could do um i could do a regular mount up front i could buy a kit i could piece it together myself so there are a lot of things that i'm looking at right now um i'm really leaning into the rear mount setup because of the ease of install you can kind of piece it together yourself um, easily upgradable in the future and just a lot more options for space and heat and everything um, I've been doing a lot of research on it and obviously you're not gonna get the best spooling um, but if you just attack it with the correct size turbos um, you can get it to where the power comes on around 3,000 rpms um, and I hear as the as your car heats up and the exhaust heats up um, you know you the boost actually comes on a little bit sooner so been doing a lot of research into that. Um, I could go with uh, twin turbos because I do have an HKS True Dual exhaust, so I could utilize that. Um, or I could do a single, but I would kind of have to redo the exhaust. So um, there's a few things I'm thinking about. Like um, one thing that I definitely want to do is I want to go with V V band uh, V band system, so um, that I don't have many issues. Uh, when it comes to boost leaks in the piping and uh you know i i just been i've been seeing a lot of builds where they just kind of put like couplers and like um 
uh, those uh, those clamps where you kind of like screw that little bolt down and I don't know it just doesn't seem very automotive driven so I've heard tons of really good things about V-Band so what I might do is take it to a shop where they can convert all of my flanges to V-Band v -band mounts and make my whole exhaust system V-Band and then um, where it mounts up to the turbo or turbos make, they, make that V-Band as well so if I ever have any issues with the turbos or I want to upgrade I can simply just undo them and change them out um, as long as as far as the fuel system that's going to be a little bit more of a you know some more research I haven't really done too much research on that um, but I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards the thousand cc injectors some sort of fuel pump I'm not sure which one yet um, we're gonna do an oil scavenge pump and uh, make sure that that's all correct there's a couple different ones that I've seen some are louder than others I'm probably gonna opt for the quieter one so I'm just trying to piece together all of these things to make this car better and I'm not looking to go full race car you know I just want more than 300 horsepower I mean it's got 296 horsepower or 94 or something like that and I just want to be I want to be over that I just think it's a little bit you know I, I want more smiles in my life I want that boost noise I want I, I want to challenge myself with uh, with this this uh, hobby you know I've done the, I've done the car show stuff I won some awards doing car show stuff I've done a lot of cosmetic things I really want to get more into um, performance side of things I, I do autocross and I love autocross because you don't necessarily need a car that's high horsepower um, which is great for driving skills and stuff but when I get on track when I get on the straight I would love to put down some more power get some more top speed and just have a lot of fun with it and uh, the only boosted car I've ever owned was a uh, Mazda Miata and that was like so much fun it had like 215 horsepower but with the boost that comes on and the noise it made and I dude it was an instant smile it doesn't matter who I brought in the car with me people that didn't like Miatas people that loved Miatas people that had never been in a boosted car at all I mean it just took off and it was great so ever since then I really really want to boost this car so in 2020 that's what I want to do I really really want to get this boosted I'm hoping I can do it um, I'm buying and selling things I'm making a lot of side income and I'm putting it mostly towards the uh, the build because uh, last year I saved up a bunch of money for the wedding so that I wouldn't be financially stressed I met that goal so now I'm I have a new goal for the car um, and I would love to get it love to get it up uh, and, and up and running so uh, yeah so that's what I'm gonna be doing in 2020 um, really really excited about it I hope it can come to pass the motor's got a lot of miles on it I have hundred and fifty thousand miles on this motor but I have taken care of it, it gets its oil changes um, routine maintenance spark plugs wires all that good stuff um, I just did uh, new valve covers with uh, spark plug uh, gaskets because one of those was uh, leaking a little bit at the beginning of last year so I got that all taken care of and I kind of went through all the fluids um, and this thing will probably need a clutch as well at some point. The throwout bearing's a little bit chattery, so I gotta I gotta uh, replace that. And while I'm in there, I may as well upgrade clutches. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm really excited about it. So uh, I love this car. People rag on VQs, um, but for the price point and for what you get, I mean, I I love this car. It just feels so great. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, I'm not saying it's the best car out there. There are so many different cars out there. I don't really have bland, bland, blah, blah, blah. There are so many good cars out there. I don't have brand loyalty. I think that's very important to know. I, I appreciate all sorts of builds from the uh, well put together Hondas to um, to high horsepower, uh, you know, Mustangs. I mean, all facets of it. I think are fascinating. And just the fact that people have this as their hobby and they can express themselves and turn their car into something that they're really proud of, I love that. I love that it's such an individual kind of hobby where you can kind of make it your own. And there's no rules. There's like, really, there's no rules. I mean, you can do whatever you want. And it's, it's usually the people that break the rules that get the most popularity and people are most interested in, you know? So sick. Like, that guy who put the, uh, like that guy who put the Hellcat motor in the NB Miata. Like, that's sick. 
who does that? They did it. It's awesome that you can make it work. And then there's somebody doing like a Tesla swap on a 350Z or maybe it's a 370, I don't know. But you can just be so creative in this hobby and space and I think it's so sick. So rear mount turbo, really not that crazy. Let's get it, you know? And if I, if I got 350 horsepower, you know, I, I boost up 80, 90 horsepower and the motor's still happy, I mean, I think that's dope, let's do it. So I can't wait for, for what's to come. I keep seeing a whole bunch of stuff pop up, uh, like boosted parts and pieces for sale and stuff. And I think God's speaking to me. So I hear you, Jesus, we're gonna do this. So stay tuned, see what's gonna be happening with the, the Z and I uh, look forward to it. And thanks for stopping by. Please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, I will be making a lot more content on my car and then also uh, content about uh, car shows, spotlight videos, um, I even do like some some side hustle stuff too. So if you're interested in that, that's what my channel is going to be uh, containing. And uh, yeah, look forward to it. Thanks a lot, guys.